video on ninja stars slash machetes slash knives but I just call it knife collection because it's the majority of what's here alright let's get right into it and these are the survival fixed blades here we have uh, an American buck knife made in the USA um, stainless steel down here we have the company yes for all fixed blade I like the uh, little grip there Put your fingers right in there. There's a little camo sheath that comes in. Down here we have the Elkridge. I love Elkridge. That's a good company. Elkridge machete knife. That shape on the blade really gives it a nice cut. Like, it evens out the weight so that it'll be able to cut whatever you're cutting nice and evenly. Alright, let's move down here. Here are the Ninja Stars, my little four pack. These can't really go into, like, deep wood or a deep um, plank of plywood or whatever but they could go into like a soft tree like a redwood tree or a red cedar tree that has soft bark um, pair of four I mean a four pack for about twenty bucks good deal and then for twenty bucks I got one of these really nice um, steel ninja star a good size then up here is another kind of cheap one metal piece survival knife. And the tip kind of broke there if you could see that. And I was just sharpening it. And then down to Chinese knives. Not the made in China, the cheap one, but the traditional Tibetan knives. This is sort of like a samurai katana um, Chinese knife. And this is a Tibetan hunter's knife that I picked up in Tibet when I was in central China. This is like these, I have knives from all over the world here, so that'll be exciting. And then this is a Tibetan dagger, with the metal sheath and all. It's pretty sweet. Okay. And then right under the Chinese knives, we have our diver knives. We love to go snorkeling and stuff, see all the pretty fish, but there are always dangers in the ocean, nets and stuff. So we got these diver's knives that strap onto our legs. We have the straps and stuff. And just in case, you know, a net or whatever, shark, you just always have a knife. It's just great to know that you have a knife with you. And then here is my brother's marine survival knife. You get to untwist this little hand, the butt of the handle here, and there's a compass, fishing line, matches, um, a sewing needle, thread, all that stuff. And then to the folding knives, up here you have my brother's spring assisted um, Humvee knife with the serrated blade and the uh, normal blade. And then my brother Smith & Wesson black knife, full black, very nice. And then my Shedfield folding knife, real wood handle, pretty sweet. I carry this knife around with me for protection. And then this is actually my sister's nice knife, very nice knife. And then a Winchester black knife. Pretty cheap, but it's really sweet, nice and small. Winchester is a good company, from what I've heard. And this is pretty sweet, high quality knife. And then these two cheap little spider knives. It's not Spider Co. It just has a spider on it for some reason. And they're just fun to carry around. I actually carry one in my wallet because it's actually a money clip. Fit bills in there. And then this is a 44 cartridge turned into a folding knife. It's pretty sweet. That blade's really sharp. Probably one of the sharpest knives here, and it's the smallest. Okay, moving to, like I said, lots of different knives from around the world. These are Saharan Arab um, Moroccan knives, to be specific. Specific. Um, here's um, kind of an old, rusted Moroccan knife. But it's pretty cool, like the handle and um, sheath is made of minerals and a fossil. And then we have one of my biggest knives here. Wood handle Moroccan knife. And here's like a nice small one. I just like to carry this around. They're not sharp here. They're only um, 
pointy in the tip. All these are. That's usually what they are, daggers. Yeah. And then down here, we have our folding knives. I mean, our throwing knives. My bad. We have two big ones, about, uh, I'd say, eight inches long. Really nice. Stick into a pretty thick wood. And the smaller ones with sheaths, like four forearms sheaths that wrap around your forearm. They're pretty sweet. You think that you're like a superhero or something. And we have these ring ones. These are also fun to throw. And this old rusted up one. Still barely works, kind of dull. And then we have a really cool Russian butterfly knife that my dad carried around in Moscow, just in case, you know, someone tries to jump him or whatever. And then here we have a multi-tool, sort of two blades and a pair of scissors, cheap little knife. And then moving on to the machetes. Okay. So this um, machete, red one, has a pretty cool story to it. My dad went to Tanzania, and in Tanzania and northern Kenya is where the Maasai tribe lives. And they have these, everyone has a machete like this to um, keep the lions away and cut, kill lions or a threat to their livestock. And my dad, when he was there, someone wanted his watch, traded his watch for this pretty sweet machete. And then he came back home and gave it to me back in the U.S. It's pretty sweet. The handle's made of lamb hide and so is the sheath. And he told my dad that he's killed lions with that thing, so I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it's pretty sweet. And then my brother is Elk Ridge, one of our favorite U.S. companies. Um, it's sort of rapier machete. Kind of looks like a pirate knife, I think. Or pirate sword, my bad. And this looks really sweet. I really like it. And it was a good purchase. It was on sale for like $20, usually like 50 So uh, that's about it for our 40-plus knives. I'll be doing more videos in the future on each specific knife and all their features and details. So if you're wanting to want more or know more about these knives, don't worry, more videos to come in the future. And I will be doing one video of all my friends' knives and my knives. That'll be probably a couple hundred knives or something all together. We'll have a lot, and but that won't be for a while. So just like and subscribe so that you could keep up, be up to date to all my new videos and stuff. And thanks for watching.